In our previous video, we talked about the differences between the two Smiths, how the character had changed so much in the Matrix Resurrections that he is practically a new character. We also talked about a theory that the Matrix 4 Smith was created by the Analyst. So could Smith and Trinity be programs created by the Analyst? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The idea that neither Smith nor Trinity are the originals comes from another new character in Matrix 4, the new Morpheus. This Morpheus is a program created by Neo that was placed into a model, a simulation used to evolve sentient programs. Neo created this program with the intention of it eventually evolving into Morpheus and fulfilling his purpose as Neo's savior. Many people are often confused with this new version of Morpheus because of the name but it's pretty obvious that he is not the original Morpheus, nor does he try to be. He only fills in for the real Morpheus because Neo needed him. Neo needed a sentient to help him wake up, and as the new Morpheus mentioned, Nothing comforts anxiety like a little nostalgia. Although Neo was originally a calm and somewhat emotionless character, we know that the Matrix manipulates the one with emotions. Neo's predecessors were manipulated to love humanity, Although they were Matrix anomalies, they still had feelings. And so does Neo. The analyst said that when he witnessed Neo's sacrifice, he understood that Neo was the anomaly of all anomalies, and thus he decided to use him to power the Matrix. But he was faced with a problem. No matter how hard he tried, the analyst couldn't reactivate Neo's source code. We worked for years trying to activate your source code. I was about to give up when I realized It was never just you. Alone, neither of you is of any particular value. It took the analyst years to figure out that what Neo was missing to activate his source code was Trinity. This means that the analyst had to rebuild or resurrect Trinity, but she has been dead for years. How do we know that it has been years? Well, because Neo was being experimented on for years before the analyst got his epiphany. This is our main clue that Trinity is not the original Trinity. This trinity has barely aged, just like Neo. She seems to be a sentient in a newer body, who little by little begins to awaken to what her purpose is. Again, just like the new Morpheus. We see this idea of awakening one's true self in the simulation repeated with three characters. Neo, Trinity, and Smith. All three of them are connected by the Anomaly's code. The analyst mentions that Neo's source code cannot be activated without Trinity, but he possibly came to a similar conclusion with Smith when Neo became the one or when the Anomaly's code was activated. It was after Smith killing and Trinity kissing Neo that he became the one. So maybe for Neo's code to reactivate, Smith and Trinity need to be in his life. If this theory is correct, then the Analyst created new versions of Trinity and Smith to interact with Neo so that the Anomaly's code would be reactivated. Perhaps this is the reason why Smith is so different. His personality and philosophy have changed. Smith also lost the powers he gained after he was destroyed. He is an alternate version of Agent Smith, who retains the Agent's memories, but not entirely his character. Trinity also changed, and not just because she now has supernatural powers. Earlier we mentioned the possibility that Trinity is a sentient who discovers her role over time. Well, maybe Neo could be one too. So if this is the case, what is the analyst's plan? The explanation of how this theory could work is as follows. After Neo's death, the analyst realized that he could use the anomaly's code to power the new matrix. But Neo is dead, obviously. So the analyst had to create a new body by copying Neo's DNA. This body would be more machine-like than the other humans, and it would be the new vessel for the anomaly's code. The analyst then created a sentient program with Neo's memories and desires installed it into this new body, and began his experiments to activate the code. The program would eventually come to believe that he is the real Neo, but as much as the analyst tried, he couldn't get this new version of Neo to work as he hoped. Then he later discovers that he also needs Trinity to activate the anomaly. After years of experimenting, he recreates Trinity and Smith, and finally manages to reactivate the code. 
This time, the integral anomaly does not work with humans, but with three sentient programs who believe that they are who they think they are, but they are not. Confused yet? This would explain the behavior changes in these characters. Neo's anxiety, Smith's indifference, and Trinity's conformity. None of them are the original characters. They are alternate versions of the classic characters, just like Morpheus. They were placed in a model to grow and evolve and believe that they are Neo, Trinity, and Smith. This would also explain why Neo and Trinity have barely aged after 60 years. An interesting twist for a sequel, don't you think? What would happen if Neo discovers that he isn't the real Neo? How am I doing? I don't know. I don't even know how to know. If this crazy theory is true, then eventually Neo, Trinity, and Smith would confront the analyst, and he would have to reveal the truth to them, that they are programs created from the memories of two humans, and a program that lived and died years ago, and that their purpose was to be the recipient of the anomaly's code to give energy to the Matrix. What a way to turn everything upside down, right? Everything would change if made true that Neo and Trinity are dead, and the characters from Matrix Resurrections are only reflections of the original characters. They did what the analyst made them for. They are programs that evolved into believing that they are Neo and Trinity. But do you agree? Did the analyst create Neo, Trinity, and Smith in the Matrix Resurrections? Do you feel not like yourself? Has depression led you to question reality? Do you have an extreme desire to jump off a building? You may be suffering from a strange neurological condition caused by an imbalance in the brain known as VDTs. Folly Bridge has the solution for you. Introducing Ontolofloxin, the world's first and only blue pill you will ever need to start your day right and simply forget all your troubles, literally. Ask your doctor about Ontolofloxin today and join the millions living in blissful ignorance. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.